and the gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. First of all, I'd like to thank Chairman Gordon and also Ranking Member Hall, members of the committee, and our staff for helping to move this very important bill so forward. You know, the United States has some of the best solar resources of any industrialized country in the world, enough power, in fact, to power the entire country several times over. And these resources aren't unique or limited to the American Southwest. It turns out that our friends up north in the state of Alaska have about the same amount of solar resource energy as much as the country of Germany. And yet in 2006, Germany installed about seven times more solar power than we did here in the United States. Major companies in Europe and in China have been very aggressive over the last several years in building up their manufacturing capacity and competing internationally to meet demand. If our policies and innovation models for solar energy don't change, the United States is simply going to transition from importing foreign oil to importing foreign panels. This country actually invented the first photovoltaic technologies, and we still have some of the smartest, most talented people in the world working to improve the efficiency and cost-effectiveness of solar cells today. But in order to use our precious research dollars as effectively as possible, these people, these patriots, need a serious roadmap, and that's why I'm so pleased to offer this bill today. After many substantive discussions in a wide range of discussions with people from industry and academic leaders, as well as at the Department of Energy, I believe there's a lot that the solar industry can learn from the experience of our national semiconductor industry. Twenty years ago, the United States was in danger of losing its semiconductor industry to Japan. In response, the industry created the technology roadmap for semiconductors. The focus of this initiative was to develop a roadmap to guide research and development efforts across the entire industry. By increasing communications between the diverse members of the supply chain, our American semiconductor industry was able to develop standards and avoid the duplication of research efforts. These organized coordination efforts gave rise to the U.S. semiconductor giants like Intel and AMD, and the U.S. currently continues to lead the world in semiconductor development. Today, solar researchers in the United States find themselves in a very similar situation. To maintain a competitive advantage, they must come together to meet their common pre-competitive goals, whether in simulation activities, developing new materials, energy storage, power, grid management, or even weather forecasting. This bill would require the Department of Energy to engage diverse stakeholders in a solar community and plan across programs to create a comprehensive plan, a roadmap, to guide funding for the research needed to make the U.S. the global leader for solar innovation. The roadmap will be required to identify short, medium, and long-term goals and make recommendations on how to channel R&D resources to meet these goals. The bill would make the Department of Energy more responsive to our solar industry's needs and encourage needed collaboration and communication across technologies with well-vetted strategies. I'd like to thank my colleagues on both sides of the aisle for their contributions that have made this bill a better bill. In fact, about 25 of the 28 changes in our manager's amendment in the Science Committee were suggested or requested by the minority. I also look forward to supporting several good amendments offered by my colleagues today. Another sign of the time and effort put together by so many was the endorsements, and Chairman Gordon talked about that, but I would like to remind members, the National Association of Manufacturers, the United States Chamber of Commerce, SIA, the Solar Energy Industries Association, IBM, Intel, BP, and National Semiconductor are all behind this piece of legislation. Mr. Speaker, the United States has an opportunity to be the leading developer and exporter of clean solar technologies in the coming years and the decades. This bipartisan bill is designed to advance that goal, and I strongly urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to support it. And with that, I yield back my time.